So today what we're going to do is show you how to set up and use the remote mount plugin. And a special thank you to all my patrons, including my news patron, Willie Woolridge. And if you haven't already, please think about becoming a patron and supporting the channel you love. Thank you. So welcome to Technodad Life and I'm Jeff and so what we're going to be doing today is installing the remote mount plugin and I'll show you how to set it up because it's not so intuitive at first. And basically with this plugin we can access other servers or we can uh, deposit sort of our information on other servers and bring it back. And so one of the ways that I'm going to be using this is for restore points so we can use the backup plugin and then uh, save an image to a different server and then if our server goes down then we can just restore it from that server. So let's get started. So first you need to go to plugins, go to the box, type in remote, click on the remote plugin and then install. I already have it installed. Once that's done go down to where it says remote mount, click add and so we need to name our server. That's the first thing. So mine is a QNAP server. We need to get the IP address. And so we just copy the IP address of our server. Paste that in there. And remove any extra stuff. Now for the export path. So if we look at my NAS here, it's, you can see there's my NAS. And then these are the folders on my NAS. And so what we want to do is just put the name of the folder without any slashes or anything extra after that. Then we put in our username and our password. And then down below here it has different version. Uh, down in this area you can see it says versions equals 3.0. To work with my NAS we actually had to put that down a version to 2.0 for it to work. You may have to do that also. So if we click on that backspace, put in 2.0 and then click save and then apply and yes. Now if we look at this you can see it doesn't say it's mounted and if we click on it and we click mount it will come up with this invalid RPC response. Just click OK. And what we need to do is reboot the computer and then it will show up. And it's time for a cup of coffee. So after we've re-logged in, go back to remote mount. You can see now our drive is mounted. If we click on it, we can see now unmounted, we can do now. And then to share it, so we have a couple different options. So now we can add it to any other program or drive or share just like we would uh, normally. So let's take a look at that. So if we go down to shared folders and so we're going to click add and we're going to name this folder remote backup. And then for our device we're going to pick our QNAP. And we're not going to change permissions. We want to keep the permissions the same as our other server has. Then click save. And then we click apply and yes. And now we can use this QNAP server as a remote backup for our OMV machine. So just a short video today and a feature that most people don't realize is there. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you like. If you haven't already, subscribe and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye bye.